Parshas Vayetze describes the life of the patriarch Jacob, how he got set up with all of his children. Interesting thing to note, Abraham and Isaac both spent most of their time in the land of Israel. Yet, Abraham had a son, Yishmael, and Isaac had a son, Esav, both of whom were not considered Jewish. Jacob raised his family outside of Israel, and all of them were perfectly righteous and became and formed the 12 tribes. So how is it then that Jacob was able to accomplish such a thing? We understand this by understanding the, the mission of Jacob. Jacob was referred to as Bachar Sheba Avlis. He was the chosen of the patriarchs. Abraham and Isaac fought against evil in a way of driving it out. So any imperfection which they may have had in their own persona was dispelled, embodied by Yishmael, who was driven away from any inheritance in Judaism, and for Yitzhak, embodied by Asa, who also opted out on being Jewish. Jacob, on the other hand, while living in Haran, which is referred to as one of the most vile places on earth, one of the most evil places on earth, was able to conquer evil. Because indeed, even evil is created by God. And there is that ability of holiness to be derived from evil. How do we conquer evil and derive any godliness from it? Through subjugation of evil, through absolute control of the forces of evil. Jacob was able to do this. And all of his sons were righteous people. We are given the task of controlling the forces of evil. We'll never drive them away. We'll never kill them. We have to control them and utilize those forces somehow, indeed, to help make the world a better place. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Fenman.